Hi, welcome to another motion tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over brush strokes and how easy it is to do in motion. Motion has a bunch of pre made uh, templates as far as brush strokes go, and you can also do your own. But what the cool thing is, is it's very easy to animate and write those strokes on um, using motion. So let's get started. If you go up to the tools up here and click on the brush stroke, in the HUD, you'll automatically get, you know, the tools for the start of an animation. Uh, the first thing is the brush stroke. So if you click on there, you can change the color. I'm going to leave it at gold for now, but you can change it to any color you'd like. The width of the stroke, and you want to do this beforehand before you actually write it on the screen. Um, right on, we'll leave checked off. And right now, we're going to do a basic solid. But in this pull down menu, we have tons of options, and the last one being basic solid. I'll get into the other ones in a second. So all I'm going to do here is just uh, click on the mouse, draw a straight line. And you'll see down the timeline, my playhead's at the beginning. I'll hit play. And there you go. There's a stroke. It automatically animates it on the screen for you. So I'm going to delete that paint stroke by highlighting it and just hitting delete. And say I want to do a new new one. So I'm going to click on the brush stroke. This time, let's use some of the pre-made ones that they have here. And if you start going through them all, you have abstract. Um, you know, and you just keep on going. There's leaves. There's lights. Liquid. You name it, it's pretty much in here. So for now, let's just use, um, let's go light. I'm going to use light streak one. I've used this before, and uh, I like it. So I'm going to come here, click on my mouse, draw a straight line like that. And now if I go back to play it, it's a cool light streak that kind of fades in and fades out. Um, very, very cool. The last one I'll show you is doing a brush stroke. Come here. We're going to go back to doing a solid. And for this here, let's see, I'm trying to think of a, let's do a Z for a letter. So it's going to come on like that. All right? Not too bad. Now what I'd like to do is I'm going to come over into my inspector, which is up here, this tab up here. You'll see I got style, stroke, advance, and geometry. Well, stroke and advance are not highlighted. But if I go down to brush type and I go over to solid and I click on airbrush, it opens these up for me. And you'll see some cool things that you can do with it. If I go to advance and I go, let me spin these up here, go and just click on dynamics. I might bring that down for now. Watch what happens when I play it on timeline. Does this cool where it actually changes the stroke into uh, particle filters? Now I might want to change a couple of things here. I go back to the style, and I might want to bring the width down a little bit, just because it seems a little not a little little too airbrushy, like blurry. Let me bring it down a little more, do something like that. Let's try that out. That's a little better, um, but. What else I can do is, I can go to advance here. I can change the speed of it so I can slow it down a little bit if I wanted to. So now that's a little better because you can at least make out a little bit of the, uh, the particles. I can change the life of them down so they can kind of die off a little bit quicker. Um, I can change the randomness of the speed if I wanted to. They kind of fly off in different speeds and I can spin them a little bit maybe maybe change, maybe just that a little bit see what happens and a lot of this stuff is just really kind of messing around with it and seeing what's out there so that's that the last thing I'll show you is that what you can do with that as well is if you go into let me click over here let me just make sure I have that paint stroke selected and I go to add behaviors and I go to shape and I go to sequence paint I come in here and in here, I'm going to go to add color. I'm going to go to sequence in through. And in my color, maybe I'll do a dark red. So now, when I play it, I have to bring the paint stroke in here a little bit more. There we go. Let's bring it down a little bit more. You see, the color has actually changed to a reddish color. 
Pretty cool, huh? I mean, paint stroke is a great little tool. I wanted to at least show you a little bit of what it can do. And um, you can play around, like with anything with motion, you can play around with it for hours and hours and hours and get some cool little effects out of it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you next time.